STP, synthetic oil treatment. Is it safe for your engine? We're about to find out as we mix it with Amazon Basics, then to face off against Amazon Basics without any oil additives. Is oil alone enough, or are these additives actually worth it? Well, we'll start off by adding the STP and Amazon to this coffee pot, which is going to allow it to heat up and make sure we have it mixed well before we test it using a pour test, also a wear testing machine. As you can see how thick this STP oil treatment actually is. Unbelievable guys. I would say this is really going to hurt your engine in cold temperatures. But there's only one way to find out. Now we're going to need three ounces of STP oil treatment for every single quart of oil used. So three ounces versus one quart then we'll allow it to heat up to considerable temperatures stp claims to help with engine oil breakdown extended oil drain intervals but is this actually true or will this hurt your engine oil this is something we need to find out guys make sure you comment below letting us know what your experience is with these oil additives do they actually help or have you had problems? Share with the NIA community. This way it helps others to save their hard earned money and not destroy their engine. Time to turn on the coffee pot so the oil can mix up with the oil additive. STP even guarantees the satisfaction for this product as they do for many others. Now I've had a lot of people say how great STP products are, but I have heard some really bad things. Now, once we have this oil mixed up, we'll go in for the cold pour test. This is probably the most important test, other than the engine oil wear. Finally, we have the oil and additive mixed up, and we're ready to go. We have our bottle labeled STP Amazon Basics. We'll drain out the oil that's been mixed up into this container and be using it for our test. We're using Amazon Basics 0W20 Full Synthetic Engine Oil. Let's go ahead and add the mixture to the bottle. Now let's put our cap back on and we'll put it in freezing temperatures for 48 hours along with the other Amazon Basics motor oil to face off. STP, can it do it? Well, we'll see. Helps protect against engine wear, combats engine deposits, helps enhance oil durability. Are these just snake oil claims or are they actually true? As you can see, detergent helps combat deposits and keep engine running clean. Antioxidants helps enhance oil durability by reducing oil breakdown. Viscosity index improver synthetic base oil helps protect against engine wear. High quality synthetic base stock compatible with low viscosity engine oils, which is really important for most modern engine oils. Now, finally, it's time to add this to our cold pour test and see what's really going to happen. Will Amazon Basics actually outperform the STP additive alone? It's actually a waste of money? This is something I really want to know guys.
Here we go y'all, the moment we've all been waiting for, STP versus engine oil alone. Is it enough? We'll go ahead and add the STP and oil to the cold pour test and find out. The moment of truth is finally upon us. For more information on STP or where you can find it, check out the link in the description below. And we're off to the races. Amazon takes a small lead in the beginning. Can it actually come out on top? It looks like it's gonna come down to a photo finish. Who will come out as Victor? Amazon comes out on top. Now, Amazon did win by half of an ounce, but STP, I actually expected it to do much worse. Now, for the wear testing. As you can see, we measure it before testing. We're off to the races once again. Incredible, check out the Amazon. It almost looks like straight water. Really? No wonder it won the cold pour test. But I'm really surprised. Look how much the STP is protecting the bearing versus the Amazon. This is really good, guys. I, I have to say I'm surprised on this one. but. Will it really make that much of a difference in the end? We'll weigh the bearings showing the before and after weight in a side-by-side -side comparison. So far, it's not looking so good for the Amazon engine oil, but only one way to find out. Now before using the scale, let's show you how we calibrate it with calibration weights. 20.00 grams to make sure that our test is exactly precise. The first bearing before using the products, as you can see, nice and clean bearing, 16.48 grams for the Amazon Basics bearing before the test. Now the STP bearing before the test. Also nice clean bearing, We'll weigh it as well, 16.47 grams before using in the lubricity testing machine. Now let's show you the after results guys. We'll calibrate our scale once again to make sure it's still working properly. 20.00 grams for our calibration weight. Now. For the first bearing up, the after weight on this bearing will be 16.42 grams for the Amazon bearing. Wow, mm, quite a bit of difference on that one guys. Now for the STP, did it actually work better? 16.44 grams. Let's show you the difference side by side. Look at the wear on the bearing for the Amazon. Oh man, you can tell it's at least twice as bad. Let's show you the weights before and after. 16.48, 16.47, Amazon 16.42, STP 16.44, STP with a loss of 0 .03 grams, Amazon double that. Unbelievable guys. Thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.